I shouldn't laugh. All right, so we're on. All right. Okie doke. We're back on. So, I'll just wait for a few of you to hop on. Um, I'm just moving this over a frack so I've got a little bit of ironing room. Uh, running a little bit behind time, but that's okay. I've got all the time in the world today. <laughs> all right. So when you're on, just pop on and say hello. Um, just so I know that there's some people here. I'm not sitting here talking to myself, which would be super awesome. <laughs> um, I can see there's a few people on already. So, um, hi, Susan. And Annie, howdy, howdy, howdy. Gidget, hi. So we just had um, Serena decide to go up to another person's place here locally and get herself into trouble with her mummy and daddy. She's not allowed to do that, but she did. Um, so Julie did the, the run. I'm on break time from Mars. So that's a really good idea, Pat. Sit and relax with me. It's very, very, very relaxing sitting here with me, except for um, when you're doing orders. It's never relaxing here when we're doing orders. <laughs> Is it, Julie? No. Stress, stress, <laughs> very stress, 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 stress. stress. Uh, I'll make sure I get things right. All righty. So, oh, um, I'm going to trip over this chair, Jules. I'm just putting it out so I can get into this oh, box of goodies that I've got here. Um, so I've got about 12 people on so I'll get going so uh, the other day or yesterday I started doing this one and um, it's just doing a bit of collage I've created the pattern from the picture there it is there so there's the picture I've done a black and white one as well so I could see a little bit more of the highs and lows Hi Julie, hi Jackie, um, and so far we've done the back of the horse and these, this paper here is called Medium Fusible Tearaway, it's only $5 a metre, you made it Catherine, nice, and uh, that is what I've drawn my um, uh, design onto, the um, pattern basically, so it's um, it's like a really good um, uh, freezer paper that sticks better, um, and they use it also in embroidery machines. So it's um, a fusible, but it's a tear away, so it can tear away as well. Um, so someone's just sending a message to me, and I can't answer. Uh, oh, you dropped your iPad. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> no, it's still here. I didn't feel a thing. Um, the other thing I've got here, which is the fusible webbing, um, and that's Tilda Fix, and I have taken it off its paper. So that, oops, it is, is it here? So this is, well, you'd know the product probably by its most popular name would be Liza Fix, but it's a fusible webbing. And um, this is called Tilda Fix, and I like it because it doesn't come off the paper as easily as, or you know, with, when you've just got it stored, it doesn't come off as easily. But uh, when I'm using it, it's um, it's quite handy to to use. Um, you can see I've got the I'm only using the actual horse. And I'm not actually doing the background in this collage sort of effect. The background I'm probably going to use a batik. Um, so this this bit of um, fusible webbing will get cut away um, and I use it in little bits and uh, you'll see as I go along how I use it. I've got my little mini iron and I do have one of those little clover irons as well which can be very very handy when doing this. Um, now I've done all up to here. I've just got a pin there I'm going to take out and I'm going to try and just touch it with the edge of that just to get that to stick down a little bit more. Um, so we are up to that point. I've got a coffee here that I'm going to try and not spill. I also brought, dun dun dun, 
tweezers today because I was struggling yesterday with um, trying to pick up little bits and pieces. And as I said yesterday, sometimes what I do, and I find it easier for me with my brain, is to grab a piece, cut it out of the template. So I've got a smaller piece, and I work with that smaller piece. And that actually belongs to this part of the um, artwork. So I've got my fabrics sort of set here. I have about five or six. Um, you can use as many different types of fabrics as you want you can use you can like i say said yesterday you can make it pink and blue and purple and you can make it into a unicorn you can do whatever you like it is your piece of artwork what i keep the picture for is so that i can see what colors i'm going to use um so i know that i'm going to need something that's fairly light along here so i'm going to and you'll hear julie in the background She's rummaging around doing orders and stuff for me today. She's um, obviously hasn't got a life at the moment. <laughs> Poor life. Well, she hasn't now because she's been <laughs> coming in and helping. But she does enjoy it. I agree. She does. Never, uh, when Michelle asks, what are you doing, never say nothing. <laughs> no, no, never say you're not doing anything because yeah. I'll give you something to do. Um I do have a habit of doing that. <laughs> so what are you doing? And she'll go, nothing. nothing. Do you want to do da-da-da-da-da? Oh, all right then. <laughs> and she comes in. All right, so what I'm doing now um, is cutting this sort of out. I'm here. I've got someone messaging me. Oh, I can't answer them. So if I find that I'm not using it straight away and I don't want to lose it, I will actually um, place it in underneath here because what you'll see is I've got the drawing that I drew on the actual um, back of the first photo I took, or the first photo I printed out. I don't know who that is. I can hear someone coming in. So that one goes there. Um, I can see it goes around about, about there. So I might just pop a pin in that for now. Already, uh, already spilt coffee on floor and missed my sewing machine table so far today. I'm, I really am having a day off dropping. <laughs> That's never good. Um, so then I'm going to cut that out. I'm trying to get to this one here because I want it to be the one at the back. Um, it's got to be fairly light. And I'm just trying to get my scissors under there, having a bit of a fight. As you can see, I've still got my gloves on, so I keep my hands warm while I'm not sewing. Oops, I'll just cut that one out. See, now I can't pick it up. Pick him up. Might have to bend me a little tweezers in a bit. All right, that one here. And that one actually goes probably right there. So I'm just going to put a pin in that just to hold it still. Um, and then when I'm ready, I'll pop them underneath. Um, I think that's that way. Oh, maybe I put it in the wrong spot and that goes over here. There we go. That's better. Um, so now when I do the invoicing after Monday, not Monday night sales, if you have something missing off your invoice, don't pay it until demo to credit you. Yeah. Um, don't pay it until I've corrected it and then you can pay it um, because with everything that's gone on the weekend, I would not be surprised that I have one or two orders a bit skew if, but we're doing our best. I've printed everything out and I've you know gone through all the messages and honest to God, there was like 20, 30 messages. So plus the website sales I've had and 
yada 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 um so bear with me this week it's going to be a bit hairy we're going in for a hell of a ride <laughs> all right so these ones here are in the middle of this so um i'm just gonna cut down that edge because i don't need anything past that edge and that gets them out of the way Take it over there then i can cut this one out and there we go and i would cut it just like that you must have the patience of a saint doing these rebecca morley are we really going to do this oh it is so relaxing honest to god it looks really um crazy busy but it's actually not why is my i've got bend me tweezers i think i've I've bent them somehow. There we go, that's better. So that one is going to go up there. So I'm going to pin that down with a pin. Catherine, believe me, once you get going, they are really, really addictive. Actually, I might have that in the wrong spot. No, there it goes over there. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If you like jigsaw puzzles, you'll like these. I didn't, uh, it didn't pop up as being on. Oh, Sorry, Rado. Normally see your little eyeballs peering at me when you have one. I didn't, I didn't um, notice straight off. I was sort of on the back foot, being a little bit late myself. It's all good. Then we can pop that one there. And this one I'm going to cut out. And you see I, I cut out there. It doesn't matter. Don't tape it because you're going to use the iron. And if you use iron on sticky tape, it will melt. All right. So that one, I think um, I only just found out what happens when you put iron plastic um, on the fabric. All right, so that's that piece there. That's the one I'm trying to get to. So I finally got to it. Now I have to pick out my fabric. So I'm thinking that this one, even though it's fairly light, I think I want it a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to have a scrounge and see. And I'm reckoning I've got a bit of a scrap here. Nice. I'm thinking that one's going to be the go. So make sure all my bits of glue were put to the side. <laughs> Because that would be really annoying if I glued. That's got a goober on it. That's all right. Might be why it's in my thing because it might have had a mark on it from the bolt. So I've got that there ironed now. Yes, Google told me. Then I watch for the red spot on the notification box. Box. I don't get reminders. Right, it's just an alarm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, that's true. You could put an alarm on. So I'm just going to move the camera over, so bear with me while I fiddle, so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully the camera doesn't move, doesn't fall. So I'm just going to put the iron on here. Now, now I have to decide when looking at it whether I want... To be cutting right to the edge or whether I want to leave a little bit for overlap and I think I'm leaving a bit for overlap um, and um, I'm on my phone and don't get notifications okay um, so um, I'm going to actually cut on this side of it about an eighth of an inch bigger I'm going to leave those there that doesn't matter um, I can if I really want to I can get a pen or pencil or whatever and just draw in the line very gently you don't want a really dark one I'm just using a pen okay so that there like that and I'm going to move the camera back and work in front of myself grab my big how's your father scissors I missed the goober bit on the fabric, so that's awesome. I do need to cut directly on the edge of that. It's on the edge of the fabric, so the edge of the, the actual picture. 
so I can cut that right on the edge there. I bet you Pat is absolutely killing it with these masks. But you're working way more hard, more harder rather than I am. <laughs> I just pulled the pin with everything else I've got. I can't do it. Um, now Monday night, Julie's going to come with some of her stuff. She has some um, poly cotton if you're interested in it. And she does, she also found some more um, elastic. So uh, is it, what colour was it? White or cream or something? Yeah, there's a cream, a pinky colour. Yeah. And a blue. Yeah. 50 cents a metre. Yep, 50 cents a metre she's selling at. So that's really cheap. Um, and the poly cotton, how wide is it? 150 wide? Yes. Something like that. Um, $10 a metre, is that right? Yep. Yeah, that's cheap, cheap. So, um, and she's got yellow, uh, like an apricot -y colour, yeah. am I correct? And a navy. So it'll be first in best dress with those. So if anyone's looking at them. Um, I know Pat just got some yellow. So, but we're going to have them on um, the blacks all sold. She did um, clever work going on here, Shell. Okay, so Shell must be someone else. It's definitely not me. <laughs> um so yes yeah, so they'll be on tomorrow night yes i will be having sales on tomorrow night because the following week surgery so it won't be on i know i could do it from the hospital bed but i don't reckon that it would go down well with the doctors or the nurses okay sorry i've got little bits of fluff everywhere so that piece there um is going to go on up here but to do that, I need to get rid of these little fellas. I'm just going to move that over a fraction. I'm going to bend that back just so it doesn't get in my way. Um, that's going to come in handy in a minute. That one's going to sit there. And I'm leaving the pins in them. There and there and there. And this baby is going to go here like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Just get my little doodah. What's it called? What's a technical term for a doodah? Thingamibob. Yeah, yeah. thingamibob. That's the technical term. Because um, we're not broke enough. To, you might, you know, you might not get, you might get in trouble if you had all us girls in the hospital with you. <laughs> yeah, I reckon the other people might get a bit cranky at me that. I'm going live and making too much noise, I'm reckoning. Um, I'm just going to pop that there because I don't really want to get a whole heap of glue. So sorry, I just popped the pin back in that one. Hold it still for me. Um, that one down. Um, I don't really want the glue going everywhere. I'm going to lift that one up a little. So that one's going to go on top of that. We're going to go under there. I'm just going to tuck, tuck that, sorry, under there like that. Just fold it in under. And a little bit of tweaking going on here. That can sit right there like that. Just holding it still for a fraction. Get myself into gear. What I'm going to do go up there just nicely get my iron I'm gonna come from this way I could burn myself again I did that yesterday I burnt myself how redonkulous um, and I'm just heating up the main parts of it and this little section here that I want to overlap I could cook my table doing this I already melted some onto it I'll just wipe that off alrighty so I can see they need to be just melted down that's what the little clover iron would be good at these little tiny bits they just help but we can do without if we don't have it don't have to buy everything on stock that's out there I suppose 
It's always nice to have one of everything, but it doesn't always, um, doesn't always, uh, it's not always possible, I should say. All right, so this one I know goes back here. So that's all good. It can just stay there. Sorry, I might have to move it down a fraction. So I'm in position. So I know that's going to go there. That's going to be that colour. Now, this little boogaloo goes back here. And I know the next one is going there. And that little darling is there. So I'm just going to leave those sitting there for a second. And I'm going to do these little smaller ones. Now, um, my internet decided to crack it. Hang on. Oh, still working. Um, I must have hit one with my thingy. I had this yesterday, didn't I? And I lost one. Go figure. How do you lose one? And it's got an, a pin attached to it. Oh, there it is. Found it. It's got a pin attached to it. If I hadn't had the pin there, I wouldn't have known where it was. Um, I've spent more in the last six months than I have in the last six years. <laughs> but you're home all the time. That's the thing. You, you can't be sitting there twiddling your thumbs and doing crosswords all day, every day. That would drive me balmy. I mean, the fact that we have a craft is such a brilliant thing because there's a hell of a lot of people out there who don't have a craft and they are going balmy. So I'll just move them out of the way. And, hey, two of those left, good. So I'm just going to iron these little boogers. I'm just going to place them on the fabric. Turn that that way. There's one. And the other one just there. Take the pin out. Oi. I'd be like that. Take the pin out. There's two. Yeah, what, Rado? We are dead for a long bloody time. Yeah, absolutely. Not working and being home is a huge problem. I mean, a lot of people are just feeling that frustration and boredom and springing on depression. And look at the amount of, um, what's her name, um, family abuse at the moment. It's huge. It's huge. It's horrible. Horrible. Right. Oh, you, you buried it behind the, the thing? Yep. All right. It's gone. 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 Oh. Julie lost a texter. I think it went where elephants go to die. Oh, under the fridge. That's where elephants go to die. <laughs> so I'm just tearing off that. This is that excess that I had cut off of the um, webbing. And I'm just making sure that um, it's adhered to the fabric. And we can pick that up. And I can now cut these, and I will cut these on the line because they're just going to sit right in those little spots that I cut them out from with a bit of luck. And you know what? Um, projects, some projects get fiddlier than this. Yes, they do. All right, so that one I'll just pop there. Try not to lose it. And you can see the glue, it's got the shiny thing to it, the glue's adhered. And then this one. So I'm a real scavenger when it comes to doing these things. I will use up as much of the backing of this, this stuff as I can, not, not waste it. So, um, Getting a lovely lot of stock to fill my sewing room fabric notions, lovely bits and pieces that I haven't seen before. Michelle has a huge range of stock. Do you know, my, my room's not that big. I mean, it's big, but it's, you know, getting full. <laughs> um, and um, I think, too, having the ability to go to um, statewide is good. I normally have foster babies but moved, so... Got to do the whole process of starting with a new agency, even though I am a high-level carer, so I'm making the most of my free time quilting. Yeah, Rado, you won't get any free time once you've got more little babies. 
goodies are good to have. All right, let's go back over here. So I know that this one, you know what? yep, that goes in that one there. So I can see that. Now, if I want to, I can take this bit of paper off, but I don't have to, um, not yet, like I did before with this one, um, because I want to see where it's going to line up to. And this one goes here. And this one goes here. Now, if you find the paper overlaps and gets stuck, it should just come out nice and easy. It shouldn't be too hard to get out. I just ironed over my thing. Just need to <laughs> bit of a stretch over there. There we go. Go there. And watch your fingers. Just get it to stick in one spot. And then you can come back to it. If it won't stay because it's just not enough ironing space, chuck a pin in it for now. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is this bit here, which needs to be in sort of a mid-medium brown. I'm going to just pop that there. Sorry, my arm was in front of the way. And this one here needs to be cut into its two pieces. It's going to be two different shades of brown. This one's probably going to be a bit lighter than that one's going to be darker. So that one's the light one, and this is the dark one. And that needs to go with the dark one, to the dark side. Now, this one here also needs to be darker. So we're going to pop that down here. And I've got them over here. Ba-bam. All right. So get rid of that and that. I thought I'd already done that. Let's come back with the, the yarn cord. All right. So the one up here is the light one. And then these two or three are going to be the darker one. So for the darker one, I'm thinking the one that goes up the top, which is this one, I'm actually going to use quite a dark piece. Not the darkest, but darker. And it's this. Just give it a quick iron first. Chuck it on there. And iron it down. Carolyn Sudholtz for the answer. Waiting, waiting, Carolyn. I didn't see a comment from Carolyn. Is there a comment? How do you tell an elephant's been in your fridge? Because you find dead shit there you haven't seen for a long time. <laughs> No, that's where elephants go to die because everything's died in there. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's the edge of the. <laughs> Sorry for the swearing. All right, so <laughs> that goes this way. I know that I need to cut that close because over here, over here, I've got an overlap, so I know that I can actually have this butting up to the other piece of fabric so um sorry about that guys <laughs> oh dear <laughs> you asked for it couldn't just take my word no 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 needed me to explain <laughs> footprints in the butter ah see i just would have said that's where the, um all the dead stuff goes <laughs> footprints in the butter <laughs> that's supposed to be a dad joke isn't it <laughs> an old 70s yeah dad joke <laughs> all right so going all the way around that one side got that ready done now I need to make sure I leave a one eighth seam oh 
I liked my answer better. I thought my answer was much more creative. <laughs> Julie laughed. You did. All right, so that's that one done. Now, I also know that these have got to be darker, but not the darkest. So I'm just going to put that up there. And they can be probably, oh, I'm reckoning that might be a little bit boring. So I've got a few choices here I can go from. Oh, I like that. So I like that a lot. So we're going to use this bit here. It's got nice texture on it. So we just stick that there, just like that. No one laughed at my, my joke, like my answer. You guys falling asleep on me. All right, so across there. Now, this one actually goes that way. Yeah, I like mine too. Thanks, Carolyn. <laughs> Carolyn liked my answer. Yeah, she did, even though it was her joke. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me so that one's going to go there so I need to have cut close to the actual paper on this side and on this side I need to leave a lip for overlapping okay all right so I'm just going to cut off the excess because it'll get in my way and yes I will use this gorgeous fabric later you just couldn't hear us <laughs> I just see everyone going, oh, you can't say that. Um, and me going, yes, I can. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just going to cut this little fella out because I know he's got to go in a bit differently. That's that little. Come on. You all laughed. <laughs> Gidget laughed. Oh, good girl. <laughs> All righty. So let's go this side and cut close to the lip, close to the edge, right on that paper. So for those who haven't seen this before, this is the picture underneath. You can see it there. It's underneath my um, applique mat. Um, do have some of these left in stock. Um, if I run out, they will go on back order. So if anyone needs one, um, great for any kind of applique. Doesn't have to be just this. Very handy for this because the, the applique mat is actually half a metre square and um, so it can take quite a large picture. This, this picture has actually been printed on an A3 paper. So it'd be just over an A2 size altogether because I've taken out some of the picture. I didn't do all of it. Um, it's artistic license. We just choose what we like. <laughs> um, I have told everyone before in classes, I said this yesterday, that everyone when they come to my classes gets an artistic license and they're allowed to use it any which way they choose. All right, so I'm just going to go around here. Sorry, I keep forgetting I've got to have it in front of the camera. Around here, just leaving a, an overlap, a rim around it so that we can put the next one on the fabric and have that paper butting up together. So this one is going to go right here. Okay. Which means, have I lost it again? Oh no, there it is. <clears throat> that one there needs to have the overlap bit on the bottom. Okay, and then cut close to the edge. Mickey Mouse mask I made for my little cousin is so cute. Aww. How little's your cousin? You're a very good cousin doing that for her. My cousin's lucky to get a happy birthday. <laughs> I never see him anymore. Okay. So that one there I need to actually 
just put a bit of heat to and just get it sitting there. Second cousin is three. Oh, how cute. Did it stick? Nope. What's the matter, Jules? It's all good. So some of them could already been done if I've had a go at them. And this one here, just making sure it's got a little bit of glue, which it doesn't really. So I'm going to add some more glue to it because I don't believe it's got enough on the back of it. So I'm just going to put that there. Well, second cousins who are three deserve to have Mickey Mouse mask. That's a good way to get them to wear them. I had to make a mask for a two-year-old. Tiniest little thing I've ever made. <laughs> so I'm just fiddling with this just to fold it under a bit just so I don't end up with too much glue everywhere. So I'm just sitting that down. I'll show you what I'm going to do because there's a whole heap of glue on it. And rather than getting it everywhere on my iron, I'm actually going to fold that over and do that. <laughs> so if it goes anywhere, it's going to go on the mat. Yeah. Um, you can also use other applique mats on top. That just helps. There we go. Now she has glue. There it is. Look nice and shiny. Whoop. Listen, zoomy thing. Come on. There we go. Is it going to do that zoom thing? No, there. It's not doing the zoomy thing, is it? There we go. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's move on to the next bit over here. So we go back here and this little baby has to go in its spot just there nicely. And I have to make more little for nephew and great granddaughters. They are all under three. Aww. And they, they take just as long, if not longer, I reckon, the little ones, because they're fiddly little darlings. There's no incentive for them to be quicker because they're smaller <laughs> after I've found all right just moving this one out of the way and that one just up a little I don't want to stick the paper down this one is going to go here and I'm just going to pick up the iron back to front and just oh, I can see that's going to be an issue just place it where it needs to be. Multitasking here. That one can go up there. Come on. There we go. So you can see here it needs to go a bit of a tug of war here. It needs to go under that. I don't want the paper getting caught up in it. Alright, let's go to about there. Try again. Try again. Right. Let's pop this one right here and that one right there. Nice. I love it when it comes together. You wait till I start taking all this paper off. You'll be like, oh my God. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. This one goes here. Like that. Oh, she's hot still. There. And line up those lines if you can. Just going to move that out of the way. I don't want to stick the paper to it. Hi, Vella. I'm making pineapple blocks. As I'm watching, I'm pinning masks together in a production line. Yeah. Yep, been there, done that. Called it quits. 
<laughs> I've got some to finish off, which I'll take up to the local milk bar here. Um, but I've, I've just been um, too busy to do them. And with surgery coming up and that, I just went, no, nope, not doing them. I had a lady who was quite difficult and that put me right off. Um, so I just went, no, nope, not doing it. It's not worth it um, just to make her happy. Um, never met her before. I think she just thought I mended clothes or something. I don't know. She actually asked me to send her a video of how to put the mask on. She had no idea. Has like a little mouse face on it when you iron back to front. Oh, it does too. Oh, look at the little mousy face. It does too. How cute is that? Oh, now I want to draw on it. <laughs> Paint on it. All right. Pineapple blocks would be cool. I like pineapple. Um, the pineapple quilts, they're amazing. All right, so that's going to be my next piece in there. So I just want to just keep it out of the way a little bit but not have it where I can't find it and not know what it's for. And I know this looks, I'm probably making it look harder than it is, so I'm just fiddling. It's actually not, is that woman who asks, yeah. Yep, yep. Yep. Yeah, I just think, uh, when I, when I said to her I don't have time first time around, and I said, because she's, I said, because she asked me to send her a um, video of how to put the masks on, and I thought she was joking, but she was deadly serious. And I went, oh, okay. And um, so anyway, I just said to her, look, I don't have time. I was in the middle of doing orders, and I was doing this, that, and the other thing. And she said, oh, well, I'll bring them back then and swap them out for the. Yeah, um, yeah. So Rado, I. I just went, oh, my God. So I said to Julie, she was, just happened to be standing there. I said, hold my bloody phone. <laughs> Didn't I, Julie? I was savage by then. And um, she did, and I did a two-second video and sent it to her because she's like, oh, well, I might have to bring them back because I don't know how to put them on. And um, I sent it to her, um, and I thought, great, that's done. I don't have to talk to her again. <laughs> and I'm not normally like that. Normally I'm pretty easy going. Anywho, um, it, um, yeah, it, yeah. Wow, small quilt. That's great, Kath. Um, so anyway, she, um, yeah, so <laughs> I just went, she asked me to do some more and I don't have time. I just said, look, I sort of asked, I ummed and ahed, and through the day I just went, no, nah, my gut sank. I went, just no, nah, I can't do it. I don't have time. Um, she's too hard, too much hard work, um, and not that Pat had much time, but the, the place that she wanted it to go to was in Queensland. She wanted me to register post them to Queensland. Oh, I mean, that's all good and well, but, you know, it's going to cost her a fair bit to register post them so I just said look I can't do it but the only person I thought of first person I thought of was Pat and I knew that Pat was making them so I thought maybe just maybe Pat might have time um anyway so is that Pat does not have time so I put Pat in the conversation and I left the conversation fairly quickly didn't I Pat <laughs> I just went that's it <laughs> sorry about that Pat <laughs> I just about had a gutful <laughs> by then. <laughs> and um, Pat basically said, uh, no, nah, too busy. <laughs> I went, yep, see you later. <laughs> but uh, I, that's it. Then I swore that's it. The only ones I'm making now are for family. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> I didn't mean to put you in the deep. I wasn't sort of thinking about her as being a hard task. It's just that you were close <laughs> and a bit cheaper for in postage. But anyway. And just thinking of the person who's close to, you know, there. But, um, yeah, it didn't quite work out that way. It was pretty funny, though. Poor Pat. Hey, mean bugger that I am. <laughs> oh, 
idea. All right, so we're going to go into this one, just iron that one into there. You see I've lifted up that paper because I don't really want the paper to get completely stuck. I can see it might be a bit of an issue there, but we'll figure it out. No, she isn't Pat. No, <laughs> she isn't Pat. No, I wasn't a mate that day, I can tell you. By then, I would have I would have handed her over to anyone. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Can you send me a video of how to put a mask on? I'm just like, oh, <laughs> oh, it's the first time ever. First time I've ever heard anyone say that. I couldn't believe it. Uh, <laughs> pretty funny <sighs> so we're getting on to the next little bit um, I'm going to cut now this here I can see looking at the picture let me get the picture up here all right a couple of pins in there I'm just going to take them out all right so that is all the um the, the strapping and this under here will be horse so actually what we'll do because this is going to be in pieces of course we're not going to do one big whole piece we're going to do lots of little ones and that one there is going to stay there i mean you can even pin it to that if you want to some days you just got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, I very rarely tell someone no. I'm very happy to help people. And I kept the prices really, really low because I wanted to make it accessible to everyone because not everyone can afford $15, $20 for, you know, some for a face mask and then have to buy two or three. So I was keeping them very, very reasonable. And um, then to do that to me, I just went up. <laughs> <laughs> now you're pushing the friendship. Ah, oh dear. All right, so that has got to be darker than this one here. And that one there, if I have a quick squeeze it, I'm pretty sure is... Dun, dun, dun. Yep, is this one. But this side here has to be darker again. So guess what I'm going to use? Nummy fabric. Nummy, nummy, nummies. All right, so let's get some of my stuff out of the way. Get that out of the way before I iron it on. Give myself a bit of room because this is going to come way out of here. I'm going to see if he's got any more of this fabric. This is from my little barley man. Isn't it beautiful? If you're very nice to me, I might actually let you have some of this. I know that Rado wanted some. <laughs> Alrighty, there it is there. Wow, oh. nice. Just got to figure out where I want the darkest bit to sit. So, um, I'm thinking about there. Doesn't matter if that's a little bit lighter, that bit. That will look good. I mean, you could do the whole horse out of this. Look at the colours in it. It's just amaze balls. Look at that. <gasps> Yum. Might even use that next time. All right. Now, yeah. I digress. So I'm just roughly cutting that out off camera, just so you know what I'm doing. And very pretty. Yes, please, if you can get more. Mmm. <laughs> Yes, it is, Vella. Yes. I'm going to send him a picture of it and say, can you please get me more of this? Um, because sometimes I might say to him, oh, can you, can you get me some um, aqua? Because everyone loves aqua. And I'll get a whole heap of blue. And I'm like, seriously, dude, this is not aqua. <laughs> Only if you can get a bolt, then we'll all jump on it. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, so um, I'm just looking at this. This needs to all be cut on the edge on this side and then with a little overlap on that side. So we'll leave the this side with a little one eighth overlap there. So we can overlap the next lot. May need two or, two or ten bolts, I know. Do you know, when I had it, it didn't go, like it didn't sell very, it took a while for it to sell. If you can get more, yes, please. Yeah, I know. It's very nice, isn't it? Um, and when I had it, it took a while for it to sell, but I whipped off 
like a full meter or so of it off because I just went nut. That is such a me fabric. Um, and um, yeah, and I've, I've had it sitting in here um, ready for projects. And look what we're doing. We're doing a project with it. And like I say, you could pretty much do the whole project um, without changing the fabric. It's very, very, very um, textured fabric as in the look of it. So so don't forget to write down what you've ordered from me um, just in case because there's so much going on. Um, I could miss something quite easily. I did put down for six o'clock to do a live spiel, but guess what? I can't because I have to go in and get my daughter and then I have to go in and get my groceries. So I cannot do. So it'll be tomorrow. I might do that little spiel on the product tomorrow or later on tonight maybe. won't take long. There's some razzle and dazzle threads. So I'm just trying to get the paper off this little booger. I think I'm peeling it, but no, I'm not. I'm just making a mess. Hang on. There we go. Where the tweezers go? There they are. Just put my finger right. <laughs> These aren't stuck down properly because I haven't had a chance to get the iron right to it. No idea what I've bought. I've just been saying yes and that was that to that. <laughs> yeah, you, have a guess who that was. Uh, Kat's no. Judy? No. Redo? Yep. Ah, <laughs> Big laughy faces. <laughs> well, guess what? It'll be like Christmas at your place when you get the package because you won't know what you're getting. <laughs> as long as you pay the invoice, Rado. <laughs> oh, come on, baby girl. Come off. There we go. Don't swear at it. I'm not allowed to swear at it. Just trying to lift that bit of paper. See what I mean about it? it sticks really well? It's not impossible to get off, but it does stick really well. Um, freezer paper would have come off by now, and I would have lost bits. have had that happen. There we go. Just need that to be off. There we are. And I'll stick that on in a minute. Just going to lift that up. Come on. Alrighty. Just pop that under there. That down there. Ha ha, Pat and Judy is worse than ha. Huh? <laughs> Depends who you talk to. <laughs> Julie's gone into I can't hear anything mode because she's climbing. She's doing what I always tell them not to do, and she's climbing on a chair. Yep. FYI, <laughs> just saying. You might have to catch me to get down. Yeah, I was just. <laughs> All righty, I have to get her down somewhere. Why did you so tall? I know. All right, so I can see I'm going to have a bit of a gap there, but I'm going to trick my little pattern a bit later. I'm thinking that it's all good. So I'm just going to come in here and iron that in. Nice. Now here, see this here? This is going to be the, um, that's a part of the horse neck. So I need to get that out. So that's my next bit um, there. That actually has to go in there. 
um, and then this goes on top um, so that's going to go under there um, if I don't have that the same coloring or something similar to then it's going to look weird just saying can't be weird there's a little bit darker bit there so I'm just going to stick that on they're too pretty to leave in your shop. Yeah, it'd be a pretty big shame if they were left here all the time, wouldn't it? <laughs> then I'd have to play with them all the time. I have done that. Sat there and go, ooh, I'll have that. <laughs> I'll have that. Oh, what else can I have? <laughs> well, this is not making any money. What's wrong with you, Michelle? Can't make a living on this. Um, okay, so... <laughs> All right, that can go in under there. It's going to have a bit of an overlap, but that's all right. Just get my own win. Sorry, I missed that. What are Pat and I doing? Rado was having a cuddle with my dog. I was having a cuddle. Rado was having a cuddle with my dog. Pat and I doing. Rado was having... A cuddle with my dog. Oh, it sounded like you were saying that Rado's having a cuddle with your dog and I found that hard to believe. <laughs> All right, so this here is the strapping. So we need to look at the photo colour-wise. And I can see it's like a grey-green and there's your metallic, that bit there, it's a really dirty. Uh, I just a little kitty mask for another cousin. Oh, how cute. You finished a kitty mask. Oh, I'd say that's a kitty mask, not a kitty mask. All right, so this here needs to be metallic -y. So to get the metallic -y look, it needs to have that white, silvery look. So I don't want to lose that baby. So I'm just going to put a pin in it over there. And this one here, <laughs> it was just the way I read it. Righto. I'm going to put that one there. All right. So that was my evil laugh too, if you didn't notice. So that's got to be like a metallic. So I'm just going to... All right. Now, this baby can come off because I don't need it there to see where I've got to line up. Hang on. I need to bend these again. What have I done to them? You spend more money than me, I'll look out. <laughs> oh, a kitten one on blue background. How cute. That's so cute. You're a good woman, Pat. A very good woman. You're a better woman than I. I can tell you what, they'd be lucky to get a black one. <laughs> so... <laughs> I bought mine. Yeah, Julie even bought hers. That's how bad we don't want to do them. <laughs> All right. So. All right. This is from this fabric here. And I've just cut out that little bit of um, the, uh, the white part. And that is going to be my um, bit of metal. Now, I also noticed in this fabric, just saying, that um, it has like a greeny-blue look to it in places. So I'll just cut this out first. So this can be all cut out pretty much on the line. Why is it going fuzzy? Stupid thing. There we go. Yes, so that's going to go on top of there. So there's no glue left underneath. So again, we need to put the glue on the back of this. Otherwise, it's not going to stick. All right, where do I put my glue? Oh, there's a little bit. No, it's not sticky tape. <laughs> All right, there's some. All right, let's take that off. Pop that there. Pop that down there. Oh, that's okay, Michelle can feel her shopping fetish because it's a vows. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. So that there. And I'm going to, again, put that over like that. And I'm going to iron that. And you know that spare glue that's sitting around it? It will go onto the mat. But 
just let it cool down I'll show you what you do so see how the glue it just goes to the edge of the fabric so you'll have glue out here but it literally just peels away um, or you can wash it in the dishwasher I'm not sure, but probably have a hard time saying no to all Michelle's goodies. <laughs> oh, no. I noticed that, Judy. <laughs> always say buy what you need necessarily. Don't always buy what you want. Um, but, you know, I mean... Just spend the money. <laughs> Julie says just spend the money. Uh, <laughs> um but I think it's nice if you if you really really need it that you're using something you know it's specific. So I think that goes like that. I'm just trying to remember. I'll have a look at my picture underneath. Yep, it goes. I've got that in the wrong position. So let's try and see if I can get that up. Mimini, if I haven't stuck it down too hard. Nice. Let's put it up there like that. And just flip it upside down, put that there, like that. You need to want, <laughs> you want to need. Um, look, there's nothing wrong with that either, as long as you've got, um, you know, you've got an off button, I suppose. You can't eat fabric, <laughs> even if it looks like food. <laughs> All right, so... Look at this bluey green stuff. I reckon I can use that in these areas under here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am utilising the one fabric I have. So what you can't see is me ironing onto this fabric. And there. So that's going to be like a bluey colour. Um, and I'll just cut that bit of fabric out. So I can get some of this underneath it, there, that there, and just let the fabric cover it. There we go. Alrighty, done. There we are. But you can make things out of fabric to sell to buy food. Correct. Absolutely, Pat. Um, if you're clever enough, yeah, absolutely. And I think there's plenty of clever enough people in this little group. What was that, Dot? I mean, um, Julie? I'm just saying micro dots. What does MD87 mean? Micro dot pack. Pack 7. Oh, right. Yep. Yep. All right, so that one's going to go right there like that there. And I'm just going to put that there. Oh, I can see a hazard. Oh, nearly touched it. Oh, I've got to fry it. You see me jump? I move quick when I need to. Like that. Then we've got this little booger that goes down here. So it's got two pieces, one small and one large. So we're going to cut that little one out. that one over there and this little bug is going to go on that really nice bit of green there I like that love scrap fabric for this particular reason does it have glue on it yes it does nice so that's just going to have as a piece that's it there and it's going to go like that there okay and what I am going to do is just make sure that it's not in the way of that bit of paper and I'm going to overlap glue down and we're going to use this bit which goes here and while I'm doing this just need to make sure 
I'm going to trim that because it looks like it needs to be. Keep the line a bit even. And then I'm going to do the next bit and using the exact same piece of fabric, I'm going to try and find a piece that will fit that's not as dark as the last one I just used, which would be this one. This one is perfect. Look at the colours in that. So let's go here. See if we can get this bugger to fit. Mm, very close. I'm reckoning that we can work with this. I reckon. Look at that. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's do it. I love it when it works. All right. Just do a bit more heat on it and pick up the fabric and let's trim around here nice and close then give that a little bit of an edge bit we're going anywhere and this one can be nice and close and this little darling can go right here so before I put that on, I'm going to take away that bit of paper because it's going to get caught underneath, definitely. Just hold on to that. There we go. And right where to put it. Oh, there. And that goes like that then. Nicely. Lift this up. Now we're cooking. Nice. Look at that baby. Right. Looks like I've got a bit of a gap there, but I can fix that. I'm just going to grab a bit of fabric, cut a little tiny sliver, and I'm going to sit it right there. And it's going to lift underneath that. Like that. It's just going to fill up that gap. Right, just like I bought one. Alrighty. Now, we're up to that. So, we're going to be going to that step next. How cool is that? That is super duper cool. There it goes all the way up there. Oh, how relaxing is this? I know you think it's not. <laughs> Trust me, it is. Alrighty, so let's remove some of these so you can see what the progress is. Just got to... There's a bit of a gap here, which I'll fix. That's one. Sometimes it can be a bit challenging when you're getting off the paper, but don't stress and don't panic. If things come up, you just persevere. That one I might leave on. That one I can take off. This one here. Did you see someone run past then? No, I'm not even looking. I'm oh. I, know, I swear I just saw someone run past. Yeah. Might have been Jaden. Okay. Okay. There we go. So 
So a bit of a reveal. And you can see it's a little bit fluffy on some of those edges, so I'll fix those up. A little bit of a trim. There we go. Uh, I only got a puppy dog, one Togo, and another family group done. Oh, really? I only got a puppy dog, one Togo, and another family group done. So, if, of the the um, masks, what are you talking about, Pat? Are you talking about um, masks or photos or... Sorry, I'm not quite with it. Why are you wearing your quilting? <laughs> well, because my hands were cold and I had them on before and I just didn't take them off. <laughs> so I got lazy and I just went, nah, they can just stay on. I do it all the time. And I'm here to tell you, they officially now have DNA on them. This needs to come off here. So that one's stuck down. There we go. It's starting to come off. Another pin. You getting hot, Julie? No, I've had to put it Okay. <laughs> so. At the moment it's still looking a little bit what the hell is this but it is slowly getting there so getting the paper out from underneath can be a bit of a chore if you haven't um, made sure that it's not overlapping which I've looks like I've missed that one but we'll get it off just use a pin and scratch at it until it comes off So, just score it like you do with your tilde fix, your fusible webbing, you can do that as well. There you go. That's a bit easier. And then it'll make it lift. Nice. Oh, it's very satisfying. I'm going to get that little bit of something off there. It's annoying me. like I've got glue on the front of it that might be what I've done silly woman aren't I so there's a, a local woman who can't help herself and um, every time Serena goes for a bit of wander this is why she doesn't come back straight away she decided to oh you know Serena's just lovely and the kids will play with her and da 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 so Actually, got Julie to go over and get him. I do need a coffee break. Yeah, <laughs> gonna have one in a minute. Just get these off and go for a coffee break. And anywho, I've told this woman a few times, and she's not quite all there, as in health-wise, and she has some issues. And I've told her a few times, and I'm like, you need to just don't don't let the kids play with her. Don't do this da, da 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 and I've told her over and over again I said just tell her to go home she'll come home she knows where she lives I said she's just being naughty because you're feeding her I said you need to stop feeding her so the other week Serena goes missing and if I don't if I with Serena um, if she goes missing she just goes in the bush and does rabbiting but because this woman's been feeding her, she's been going to this woman's place. So anywho, she goes to this woman's place and after I've told her not to feed them, feed her, I find out today she's been giving her chicken. Seriously, chicken. To a Kelpie. Now, I've chosen not to chain her up all the time but since this woman decided to call the pound the other week and they came by and dropped off the dog um, I've now had to chain her up well anyway this morning she was off for 10 minutes more than she needed to be and zip gone she's gone straight to this woman's place who feeds her roast chicken and um, 
yes then I'll get this post up on the local Facebook thing saying does anyone own this dog she knows very well where it belongs and uh, so anywho I'm like so Julia went racing around there and told her <laughs> under no certain circumstances are you to feed the dog um, I said to her just scare her just tell her that if she keeps doing it that the husband's gonna put her down see if that stops her from feeding her. Fancy feeding someone else's dog. What's wrong with you? And then wonder why it keeps coming back. All right, so I've got a bit of a messy one there, but I'll try and clean that up later. So I might even put something over it just to take away the goobers. So there you go. So we're almost there. We're going to have a little bit of a break, I think, because I know I need a little bit of a break. Um, here we are, that's got some glue on it already. So, um, yes, so was rather annoyed when I see my dog on Facebook again. Go, anyone know where this belongs? <laughs> Bloody thing. all right so we're starting to get there so that is this bit here so you can see it's starting to take shape place once we add thread to it it's going to look even more magnificent all right let's take a break um it's going on to 4 30 so let's take a break um we'll come back at five and we'll go for a little bit longer and we'll see you in half an hour all right guys see you soon